Hi everyone, The Simple Dad here. So you think you know your Samsung Galaxy S25 Ultra? Think again, today I'm revealing 10 powerful features that will boost your productivity, privacy and style. So most people don't even know they exist. So please stick around to learn how to master your device like a pro. And if you find even one of these features you didn't know before, hit that like button, subscribe for more hidden tips and drop a comment letting me know your favorite ones. So let's begin. So the first feature is suggested replies. So your Samsung keyboard can now offer full sentence replies based on your context and usage. So as an example here, if you have someone messaging you, your Samsung S25 Ultra or your Samsung Galaxy can predict and give you suggested replies. So here as a question, the other person has asked me, are you sleeping? So my suggested reply has said, yes, no, good, yes I am. So like this, you can go ahead and just tap on it and give quick replies. So let me show you how to turn this feature on. So here you need to first go ahead and open up the quick panel menu, then tap on settings, scroll down and find advanced features, then tap on labs, and then from here, find suggested replies. So tap on this, go ahead and turn this feature on. So here you get AI powered suggested replies to chat and text messages you receive. So these are all provided by Samsung keyboard. So you need to use Samsung keyboard in order to get suggested replies. So all the messages are processed on your phone to provide suggested replies. So none of them is being transferred to the Samsung service. So your privacy is not compromised. So this way with suggested replies, you reply to text faster without typing it, especially in chat apps or in SMS. Your second feature is one-handed use. So on your Samsung S24 Ultra, if you wanna shrink your UI and add the one-handed use, then let me show you how to do this. So one-handed use will allow you to shrink the screen and use it with one hand. So you can basically easily reach to icons or buttons on your screen. So to turn this feature on, you wanna first go ahead and bring down the quick panel menu, tap on settings, scroll down and find advanced features. From here, you wanna find the one-handed mode. Turn this feature on and you can go ahead and choose if you want gesture or you want a button. So gesture, you need to slide down in the center of the bottom edge of the screen, or if you just want a button, which is basically double tapping the home button. So now once you do that, you can go ahead and double tap on this. And now you can go ahead and make it into a one-handed use feature. So here you can go ahead and move this anywhere you like. So if you're righty, you can move it to the right. If you're a lefty, you can move it to the left. You can even move it to the bottom here or at the bottom right. If you don't like the size, you can go ahead and increase it or decrease it. And once you want to go back to your normal view, just double tap on the home button and this will take you back to your normal full screen view. So this makes your large S25 Ultra feel compact, easy to navigate with one hand. Your third feature is where you can lock albums in gallery. So let's say you have a photo album which you don't want anyone to see and you want to lock it. So here as an example, I've got my WhatsApp image and I've locked it basically. So in order to open this, I need to go ahead and enter in my pin or my fingerprint, and then I'll be able to open that WhatsApp album. Now this is really good as it basically locks your album and it basically locks it from anyone who's trying to open it. So let me show you how to do this. So in order to get this lock feature, you wanna go ahead and tap on menu, then tap on settings. Now you wanna go ahead and scroll down until you see about gallery. And here you need to go ahead and tap multiple times on the version number. Once you do this, you'll get a message here saying Gallery Labs has been enabled. This will turn on a secret menu called Gallery Labs. Go ahead and tap on this, turn this feature on and then scroll down and then where it says One UI 5.x, you'll see the album entry lock. So album entry lock with lock screen credentials. So go ahead and turn this feature on. Now you wanna go ahead and close Gallery, open Gallery again. And now you wanna go ahead and find what you want to lock. So here I wanna go ahead and lock the download folder. So I'll go ahead and long press on this and then I'll tap on more and then I'll tap on lock album. Once I do this, there's a padlock on that album and that means that this album is now locked. So it adds extra privacy without installing any third party apps and is straight from Samsung itself. Your fourth feature is where you can connect two Bluetooth devices at once. So on your Samsung Galaxy phone, you can basically send audio to two Bluetooth devices simultaneously. So this is great for sharing music or syncing external speakers. So here's an example, I've got two earbuds 
and I want to go ahead and connect both of them. So I can basically give this to my friend and I can use one. So let me show you how to do this. So first you need to go ahead and connect both of these devices to your phone. So we're going to go ahead and open up the variable app. We'll go ahead and turn on the first one. So we'll go ahead and open it. We'll tap on the plus sign. And here we'll go ahead and turn on. So as you can see, it's found something. So go ahead and tap on this, go ahead and pair this. And now we've connected to it. Now next, we want to go ahead and add the second one. So go ahead and open this. Now we'll go ahead and turn on the Bluetooth. We'll tap on the plus sign. And we found the second one as well. Go ahead and connect to that. And we'll pair that. Go ahead and agree to the conditions, terms and conditions. Tap next. And now we've connected to both of them. So let's go ahead and open up our Bluetooth menu. So as you can see, we've connected to both of these earbuds. So if we play a song, now once both are connected, you can go ahead and open up music. We'll go ahead and play a song. So for example, this song here, we'll go ahead and bring down our quick panel menu. Now it says play last song and says media output, tap on this. And now here it has basically recognized that yeah, you are connected to one. However, the other one's connected as well. So if you want to output it to that second earbud as well, go ahead and tick that. And now both are outputting with the same song. So this way you can basically simultaneously play the same song to two Bluetooth devices. Your fifth feature is where you can share multiple screenshots at once. So on your Samsung S25 Ultra, you can basically share multiple screenshots at once. So it lets you select and share several screenshots quickly. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll take a few screenshots first. So here I've taken five screenshots. Now I want to go ahead and share these five screenshots to someone. So the old way of doing this is going into gallery, going ahead and selecting these screenshots one by one and then tapping on share. However, now there's a quick way of sharing certain number of screenshots at once. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and open up the modes and routine app, tap on routine and then tap on the plus sign. And then we'll go ahead and tap on if. So here we'll go ahead and scroll down and find the button action. So let's go ahead and choose the back button. And here, if we double tap the back button twice, then now here, if we double tap the back button, then we want to go ahead and make it do a specific thing. So for example, screenshot. So let's go ahead and search for screenshot. And here we want to go ahead and tap on get recent screenshots. So now here we want to go ahead and select the number of screenshots. So the five screenshots and then tap done. Now we're going to go ahead and make it share. So we're going to go ahead and share these screenshots, a so share image, and then we can go ahead and save it, give it a name. And now let's go ahead and use it. So now if we double tap the back button, this will now get the five recent screenshots, as you can see, and now we can go ahead and share it anywhere you like. So on quick share, WhatsApp, Gmail, message, messenger, Instagram, Telegram, and Facebook. So you can choose whatever you like. So this saves time when you're sending long message threads or guides to someone on your Samsung S25 Ultra. Your sixth feature is where you can set specific app screen timeout. So if you want to override the default screen timeout for a chosen app, then let me show you how to do this. So here as an example, my screen timeout is set to two minutes. So after two minutes, whatever I'm on, it'll basically switch off and go into standby mode. However, now there is an option where you can basically set a specific app screen timer for a specific app. So let me show you how to do this. So for this, we need to go ahead and open up the Galaxy Store. In the Galaxy Store, you'll need to go ahead and download an app called Good Lock. Go ahead and open it. Now in the Good Lock app, you need to go ahead and open up the Display Assistant module, which is right here. Tap on this. So now here you need to find the app's screen timeout to tap on this. And now you can choose a different screen timer for each app. So let's just say, for example, YouTube music, we'll add that. And here we can go ahead and choose what screen timeout you want to set it to. So if you want to set a short time, you can go ahead and set 15 seconds, or you can go ahead and set it to 10 minutes, which is a long time. So let's just say we are on 15 seconds. 
Now we can go ahead and open up YouTube Music. And here, when your phone is not being used and it's on YouTube Music, after 15 seconds, your screen will time out. So we'll just give it a few seconds. And as you can see, it has now timed out. I'll wake it up. And we have set a app screen timeout for that YouTube Music. So this prevents apps like eBooks, recipes, or guides from timing out. So say for example, if you're reading books on your phone, you can go ahead and set a long time. So your default is set to two minutes. However, for a specific ebook app, you can go ahead and set it for 10 minutes and you can keep reading in peace. The seventh feature is where you can keep your screen on for 30 minutes. So if you wanna keep your Samsung S25 Ultra or your Samsung Galaxy device awake for an extended session, then you need to go ahead and turn this feature on. So let me show you how to turn the feature on. So by default, the maximum time you can keep your screen on is 10 minutes as you can see in this screen timeout menu. Now to keep it on for extended time, 30 minutes, which is maximum, you wanna go ahead and open up the Good Lock app. In the Good Lock app, you wanna go ahead and scroll down and find Display Assistant, which is right here. Now from here, you wanna go ahead and find this option here, Keep Screen On. So this will keep the screen on for 30 minutes. Go ahead and add it. So here you can go ahead and add a quick settings button to that. So I've already added it, so I can go ahead and press home, bring down my quick panel menu, go ahead and look at my icons here. Here I wanna go ahead and find this option called keep screen on. So say for example, if I want to now keep my screen on for 30 minutes, I can go ahead and tap on this, and this will now keep my screen on for 30 minutes. So this is really useful during presentations, video watching, or tutorials. Your eighth feature is where you can change your task switcher to a grid view. So if you don't like your default task switcher and you wanna switch into a grid view like this, then let me show you how to do this. So in order to do this, you need to go ahead and open up the Galaxy Store. In the Galaxy Store, you need to go ahead and download an app called Good Lock. Once downloaded, go ahead and open it. Now in the app, you need to go ahead and open up the Home Up module. Now here, turn this feature on and then tap on task changer. From here, you wanna go ahead and switch this from a tilt stack to a grid view. Now, once that's done, press home, and then your task switcher will turn into a grid view. So you can see more apps at once, and you can navigate multitasking quicker. Your ninth feature is where you can have a free glass icon effect on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So if you wanna add a premium look like the iOS 26, where you have the glass style icon, then let me show you how to do this. So for this, you need to go ahead and open up the Galaxy Store. In the Galaxy Store, you need to go ahead and download this app called Good Lock. Now, once downloaded, you can go ahead and open it. Now, in the Good Lock app, you're going ahead and opening the Theme Park module. Now, in the Theme Park module, you want to tap on Icons, and then you want to go ahead and tap on Create New, and then you want to go ahead and now customize this. So now, in this new Theme Park update, you can see the new update, which is called Effects. If you tap on that, and then you can go ahead and tap on glass. And now here you can go ahead and customize this. So you can have the edge effect, you can have lights, and you can even change the angles around. Now, once that's done, go ahead and save this. Glass. Now, once that's saved, go ahead and tap on this, and then we'll apply this glass effect. Now we press home. And as you can see, we have now applied the glass effect to your Samsung S25 Ultra. So you can customize your device without paying for themes. And lastly, the 10th feature is where you can change notification icons to dots. So as you can see, currently you see icons on my notification bar here. As you can see, these are icons. Now what you can do here, it basically switches the status bar icons to dots for a cleaner look. So let me show you how to do this. So here we'll go ahead and first open up the quick panel menu tap on settings. We'll go ahead and scroll down and find notifications. Now from here, we'll tap on status bar. And now here we can go ahead and choose dots, icons, or nothing. So since we want to change our icons to dots, we'll go ahead and choose dots, tap home. And now as you can see, there's nothing there. However, if there's a notification, so once a notification comes up on your screen, you'll see that dot appear right here at the top. So this is great as it reduces clutter while still alerting you. 
and it also keeps it private so that whoever looks at your phone, he or she will not be able to tell what notification you are getting on your Samsung S25 Ultra. So your Galaxy S25 Ultra is more powerful than you think, and now you've got the edge. So if any of these features helped you unlock your phone's potential, don't forget to like, subscribe for more Samsung tips, and comment below which one you're using first. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.